The journey to sending humanoids into space began with decades of advancements in robotics. This is just the beginning as robots are expected to carry significant weight in future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Now let's examine the humanoid robots who've already made a mark on space exploration. NASA's Robonaut has taken its first steps. During recent tests at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the experimental robot moved hand over hand outside a mock spacecraft, confirming that it could make repairs or install parts. NASA calls Robonaut essential to its future missions in deep space. NASA's Johnson Space Center developed Robonaut with DARPA in the 1990s to handle a variety of tasks during missions that were otherwise performed by human astronauts. The robot was commissioned to reduce risks to astronauts, limit mission costs, and expand the scope of space exploration activities. Robonaut was designed with hands capable of using the same tools as real astronauts. The human-like dexterity enabled Robonaut to perform complex, delicate tasks that were too challenging for other robotic systems. Its assigned tasks included maintenance and assembly, extending the scope of what could be automated during space operations. Controlled by teleoperation, Robonaut was ideal for environments unsafe for humans. It had some autonomous capabilities. It made decisions and performed tasks independently thanks to its advanced sensors and processing power. Since it was designed specifically for space travel, Robonaut could withstand extreme temperatures and zero gravity. In 2007, General Motors partnered with NASA to develop the next version of Robonaut. General Motors and NASA have a long history of working together going back to the original lunar rover. And it would seem like a natural fit for the General Motors Corporation and NASA to work together on the development of the next generation of robots, Robonaut. The original Robonaut was used as a ground prototype to demonstrate the feasibility of humanoid robotics in space operations. The second Robonaut became the first humanoid robot to fly in space when it was launched to the International Space Station in 2011. And we appreciate the fact that the crew members seem to also kind of uh, take the, the little brother approach with Robonaut and that, you know, they treat um, it like a, a crew member as well. On the ISS, it participated in experiments to understand how robots could assist crew members with tasks. The second revision incorporated significant enhancements, making it more capable and versatile. R2 had advanced hands that could use the same tools as astronauts, so it could complete tasks that require fine motor skills. With a higher level of dexterity, the robot's hands and fingers could exert greater force. Its vision and tactile sensors improved its ability to perceive its surroundings. With its advanced sensory systems, the robot could navigate around the space station. Initially, the R2 lacked lower limbs because it was designed to operate from the waist up from a fixed base or mobility platform. Later developments equipped the robot with leg-like mobility so it could move around easier. Its improved computing capabilities meant it could process more information faster and more efficiently. The space industry continues to use insights from Robonaut's development to inform robotic projects for space explorations, including future missions to Mars and beyond where robots and humans will work together closely to conduct research and establish colonies. I'm at ELA 2010 Space Pavilion together with two really interesting guys. One is Carsten Preusche, he's from the Robotics and Mechatronics Center of the DLR, and the other one is Justin, the space robot, and now you can guess who is who. The German Aerospace Center introduced Justin, an advanced humanoid robot designed for high-precision space activities, in 2009. The robot is nicknamed Rolling Justin for its mobile base. Justin has dual robotic arms with human-like dexterity to perform complex tasks during space missions. With its advanced AI and computer vision, it recognizes objects and performs tasks autonomously. It can also be operated remotely from Earth or in space. Though it hasn't been deployed to space, Justin has demonstrated the ability to carry out tasks like repairing solar panels and handling delicate instruments. Its design makes Justin a potential candidate for future missions to the Moon or Mars, where it could reduce the need for astronauts to perform dangerous or labor-intensive tasks outside spacecraft. An upgraded model called Agile Justin was introduced in 2012 with significant improvements like faster arms and the ability to throw objects. 
Its enhanced bus architecture and wheel electronics improved performance and control. And in 2013, the Aerospace Center unveiled its torque-controlled humanoid robot called Toro. It featured significantly improved legs, a new head, a slimmer torso, and lightweight arms. Its smaller feet were designed for climbing obstacles. Extra care is being made in handling this special robot. It weighs one kilogram, but where it's being sent, there will be weightlessness. Gorobo is the second humanoid robot to go to space. Japan sent the small talking robot to the International Space Station via the Konotori 4 spacecraft in 2013. It served as a companion for astronaut Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the ISS. It made history as the first robot to have a conversation in space as it kept Wakata company throughout the mission. Gorobo stood 34 centimeters tall, about the size of a small teddy bear or large water bottle. It could float in zero gravity for easy movement around the ISS. It was built to test how robots could help astronauts with social interaction during long, isolated space missions. It was part of a broader Japanese initiative exploring how robots could support people in lonely or stressful situations. Kurobo spoke Japanese, recognized facial expressions, and responded to voice commands. It interacted in real time with its camera sensors and speech recognition software. Kurobo spent about 18 months in space. It returned to Earth in February 2015 aboard the SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft. Since then, it's been displayed at exhibitions and museums in Japan. The robot was created by Toyota, Robo Garage, and the University of Tokyo. A miniature version of the robot, called Kurobo Mini, was made available to consumers in 2017. Designed for everyday use, the robot stood about 10 centimeters. It was marketed in Japan as a personal interactive companion, selling for around $400. Introduced in 2015, Valkyrie is a highly advanced humanoid robot designed specifically for use in future NASA missions to Mars and beyond. Developed at the Johnson Space Center, Valkyrie is part of a broader initiative to develop robotic systems for assisting and supplementing human operations in space. It's engineered to withstand environments too hazardous for humans or where their presence is not yet feasible. The humanoid robot stands about 6 feet tall and weighs about 290 pounds. Its articulated limbs and hands are capable of complex, dexterous tasks. An array of sensors, including cameras and LiDAR, help it navigate its environment and interact with surrounding objects. The robot operates autonomously or remotely for versatility during space missions. One of its most unique features is its modular design. Its limbs are interchangeable, and the robot is designed for easy repairs and upgrades. This is crucial for long-duration space missions where resupply and maintenance options are limited. Its battery system allows for extended operations during missions. Valkyrie is intended to precede humans on missions to Mars, where they can prepare habitats, assemble and maintain equipment, and perform experiments before human astronauts arrive. Valkyrie remains in active research and development, with NASA collaborating with numerous universities and research institutions to improve its capabilities. My name is Simon. Simon, where do you come from? I'm from Friedrichshafen at the Lake of Constance. It's a nice place. Though Simon isn't technically a humanoid robot, it plays the role of one in many ways. The AI-driven robot assistant was sent to the International Space Station in June 2018 aboard SpaceX's CS-15 mission. Simon stands for Crew Interactive Mobile Companion. Developed by the German Aerospace Center and Airbus, the spherical floating robot is powered by IBM Watson's AI. It has a screen displaying a simple, animated face that guides astronauts through complex tasks and offers emotional support. It uses 16 internal rotors to navigate zero gravity for autonomous movement within the ISS. Simon responds to voice commands to help crew members with task procedures and offer technical guidance. It displays documents, images, and videos to assist in experiments. The robot's first interactions were with Alexander Gerst of the European Space Agency. 
Though there were some glitches, Simon demonstrated potential to help astronauts in isolation. In 2019, an upgraded version of Simon, called Simon 2, was sent to the ISS with improvements in emotional intelligence, better conversational skills, and enhanced safety features for long-term missions. Russia sent its first humanoid robot into space in 2019. Fedor, also called Skybot F-850, was initially designed for rescue operations on Earth. Fedor is an acronym for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research. Created by Russia's Foundation for Advanced Research Projects and Android Technics, Fedor was adapted to travel aboard the Soyuz MS-14 mission in August 2019. Russia's space agency wanted to test how humanoid robots could assist astronauts by performing repetitive or hazardous tasks. Standing 1.8 meters tall, Fedor weighs 160 kilos. It has 28 movable joints to mimic human motions. It's controlled by an operator who wears a special suit. Fedor was tested for about two weeks during its time aboard the International Space Station. Results were mixed. While Fedor successfully performed some tasks like connecting cables and using tools, it struggled in the zero-gravity environment. Still, Russia plans to deploy similar robots during future missions, including to the Moon and Mars. Vilmitra will soon become India's first humanoid robot in space. The Indian Space Research Organization developed the robot to simulate human functions and assist astronauts during the Gaganyaan mission. The robot will join the first uncrewed three-day test flight of the Gaganyaan mission, aiming to send Indian astronauts into space. Vyomitra is a half-humanoid with only an upper body. It can talk, issue alerts, and monitor the spacecraft to ensure safety. The robot speaks Hindi and English. The name Vyomitra means friend in the sky, with Vyoma meaning space in Sanskrit. The ISRO recently finalized the 800-gram skull's design. According to India Express, the skull is built from a super-strong and lightweight aluminum alloy. The mission is India's first attempt to send people into space using a spacecraft built entirely in India by ISRO. During the three-day mission, the Vyomitra will be evaluated to see how well it can perform tasks, monitor the spacecraft, and interact with systems. The test flight is scheduled for December 2024. A number of today's advanced humanoid robots could be adapted for deployment as the space economy grows. Robots are expected to assume significant roles in future missions, particularly in propping up infrastructure for colonization efforts. Elon Musk has said he envisions Tesla bots eventually preparing for humanity's eventual arrival on Mars in the not-so-distant future. In the meantime, subscribe for the latest updates on humanoid robotics on Earth, in outer space, and beyond.